DRTK mobile station here. I want to put a battery in it. To put the battery, we will slide this down, pull it out, and then place it in. So uh, we can come here to power it on. We press and hold this power button until it turns red. Then we let go of it. So the number of times this green light is blinking is the mode that your DRTK mobile station is on. Depending on what drone you use, you need to select the right mode for that drone. Like for the uh, T20P is uh, mode 5, so this is already on mode 5. This is your linking button. And when this one is green, it means it's connected to enough satellites. So to now we go to the remote controller of a T20P. We go to the, this is the home page. I'll go to the drone symbol. Then I scroll down. There is the DRTK2 mobile station. I click on that. Then I press linking. It shows the RTK that is on and close to us. I will press the linking button here. And you see this already turned green. It means it locked uh, the GPS. So I will click on it. And I will press RTK. It's already linked. I go back, begin, and instead of manual rat GPS, now it shows manual rat RTK. It shows uh, 31 satellites are connected to your RTK. The signal is good and it is ready to fly under RTK. Again, I'll go to the settings, RTK, and now this shows connected and we selected the DRTK2 mobile station, which is, which is a DJI product. So, okay, that's how you link uh, the DJI DRTK antenna to an Agros T20P. And that's our Agros T20P right there. So we already linked the Agros T20P remote controller to this RTK. We're gonna try to connect the Agros T10 remote controller to it too. It's uh, the same process. I go to the drone symbol here. Look for RTK mobile station linking. Switch. Linking. What's that link button on the chair? You don't have to, it found it already. I click on it. Okay, now we have two drones linked to the same RTK. One is an Agris T20P and one is a T10.